Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this poster in Word with lots of individual techniques, tools and design options. So let's open a new document and we've just got a normal A4 document here but you can choose any kind of size of page if you like. And the first thing we're going to do is look at the background. Now for this I generally go online this is a website called pixabay.com and all you need to do here is go to the search bar and put in anything that you want for your background. So the last one you can see I put pink paint effect smoke background and then you can see all the options available to you. So all you need to do is scroll down, pick one that you like. I've chosen this one here, so select it, go to download, select a size of your choice and then click download. Go back into Word, go back into Word, go to Insert, Pictures, click on the drop down, Picture from File, pick from your downloads and click Insert. Once you've inserted it, you won't be able to move it, so go to Wrap Text, Behind Text. Now you can move it anywhere you like and you can also resize it. So just pull it out to stretch across your page and then you can move it to the desired location. We can move this at a later date as well. And then once you've selected it, go to picture format and along to this section here. This enables you to make some kind of color arrangements. So go to color and click on the drop down, And you can see you've got a variety of different options here to choose from. So you've also got more variations where you can pick another color source. So I've just picked this blue one here. Then you can also go to corrections and you can make it brighter or darker. You can have some artistic effects if you want to. And then you can go to transparency so you can create a more transparent effect with this tool as well. I'm going to keep it like this for the time being and then I'm going to insert some more graphics. So back to Pixabay. This time I'm going to search for statue but of course you will have a theme of your choice and then you can scroll down and pick from any particular statue. Now it's good to pick something with this checkable background because it means that the actual statue itself is isolated and then you can just insert it into your poster. So scroll down and pick what you want. Of course you may not be picking something from this kind of theme. You can see I've picked this image here. I've already downloaded it so I'm going to go back to my downloads, insert, picture, picture from file, go back to my downloads, select the image and click insert. Once again you won't be able to move this image so make sure it's selected, wrap text and this time I'm going to select in front of text. Then I'm just going to reduce the slide size slightly and then just move this statue down to here. Now you can make alterations to this at the end so don't worry if it's not quite right at the moment. Then to just give this a little bit more of an effect I've popped a shadow on it so select it Go to picture format and over to format pane. Here we'll go to the second icon, go down to shadow, click on the drop down, go to the presets and you can pick any shadow of your choice but we'll pick this one here. Then you can play around with these sliders and if you look at this shadow here we can blur it and we can change the angle and the distance away from the actual item itself. So you can play around with those, I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to start inserting my text. Go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and draw out a text box. Just insert your text and then select the text, go to the home tab and along here you can select all the different font choices. So I'm going to click on the drop down, I'm going to select Aroni. My font size is going to be 150 and I'm going to choose bold. Press enter when you've inserted the font size and then you can just make this a little bit bigger. You can see when I deselect we've got this borderline and background. We're going to get rid of both of those so select it Go to Shape Format, along to Outline and select No Outline, along to Shape Fill and select No Fill. Now I want to be able to turn this round but first of all we're going to customise this so I'm going to click inside, you can see my cursors here and I'm actually going to put a space bar between each of these letters just to give it a bit more of an aesthetic appeal, make that a little bit longer. 
then I'm going to set just this one letter here, go to the Home tab and change it to white. And then once I've selected, deselect it, reselect the box, go to Shape Format, go down to the Rotate tool and then rotate left by 90 degrees. And then we can move that down to here. Perfect, now I'm going to copy and paste this. You, there's numerous ways to copy and paste, but one I tend to choose is to select it, hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag. That just makes life a little easier and much quicker. Select this one, go back up to Align, and then rotate right by 90 degrees. Select the text, press Command or Control A. You've selected all the text, delete it. Then you can go to the Home tab, and you can choose, choose a font size of your choice. Let's go down to 12. Then you can insert your text. I'm just going to copy and paste it because I'm sure you don't want to watch me typing. I'm just gonna reduce the size of this box by just grabbing the outside. There we go. So if I just click inside here and go up to here, you can see this is the font I've chosen. This is the font size and then the font color of white. Up here at the top here, I've also selected bold and changed the font size to 22. So these are just your event details. And what we can do is we can pop them down here and then you can line it up. Let's just zoom in. Then what you can attempt to do is to put this in the center of this letter above. Once you're happy with it being centered, you can just use your arrow key just to move that down until it's the perfect distance away. And zoom out. You can see this writing is a little close to the page, to the bottom of the page. So we can select the text, move that text up using my arrow key, and then select this bottom text and again, move it with my arrow key. One thing I need to do is actually change the rest of this text to a dark blue. So click inside, you can see it turns around, but don't worry about that. I'm going to select it all and I'm going to go to I'm going to go over to the format shape bar here, but I'm this time going to go to text options and then click on the first letter here, text fill. It's on solid fill at the moment. So I'm just going to click on the drop down and select a dark blue and then just change this second letter again. I can go up to here actually and change it to white. It doesn't matter, you can use this one or this one over here, but I'm just showing you another technique that you can use and then deselect it and it will spin back round. So I'm going to borrow this text box again, copy and paste it, bring it up to the top here and then deselect them both. Just reselect this one and then select all of the text and then delete it. Then once again, you can begin to type. I'm just going to paste in my text, but I will tell you exactly what size it is. So if I click on the top one, go to the home tab, I've used Helivector it's bold, it's font size 36, and it is a dark blue color, which is this one here. And if I select it all, Command or Control A, go to this icon here, you can select the distance between each of those words or each of the lines. So if I select two, you can see it extends that gap all the way down, which is a bit too much for this one. Select it all, go to one, and then if that's too close, you can always move it to 1.5, perfect. Now, once you've got your text box selected, you can see that all of my text is aligned to the left, but you, you can go to the Home tab and change the alignment if you want it center, right, or justify, and we'll go over to the left again, perfect. Now, try if you can to line it up so it's equidistance from the top and the side of your poster. So this distance here is the same as this distance here. Deselect it, perfect. Now we're just going to put on some final graphics. So go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down, and select the square, click and draw out a rectangle. If I deselect this one and just zoom in, you can see we've got this borderline and a shape fill color. If I select it, go to shape format, we can go back to the format pane, which will reveal this menu here, go to the bucket, and then in the solid fill, we can go to the color options. And if you scroll down, go down to more colors, 
This will give you some more color options. You can go to the color wheel here and you can move this lighten and darken slider and you can also move this cursor around here to select a color of your choice. Now it's always really good to try to select a color from your background so the whole thing is cohesive. You can try and match if you can, but if you are lucky enough to have the eyedropper tool, then just select that, scroll over to a color you want and click, and that color will appear here, and you can just click OK. I'm going to get rid of the borderline, so go over to line and select no line, and then we can just zoom out. Then we can just move this down to here. What I'm actually going to do is copy and paste this because I'll need another one of those in a second. Deselect, reselect this one, go to shape format, go to the send backwards area and just keep clicking on send back until the text is revealed. Then you can customize this box. You can make it as wide as possible, or as wide as you like. And then what we can do is reduce reduce the transparency. So select it and go back over to format shape and the bucket icon. Go down to the transparency slider and just reduce the transparency to suit the look you're going for and deselect. Let's just zoom out. Now in my poster, I decided to grab this box. Whoops. I decided to grab the box behind here. If you're struggling to select it, just select anything, go to shape format, go to the selection pane, and here is everything that you've inserted into your document. And with these little eyes over here, you can select each thing and know which one you're actually referring to. So we want to select this box here, so select it. And now I just want to move it down, so I'm going to use my arrow key. So I'm just going to select the bottom part, the address part of my text here for the design I want to go for. Next, I'm going to use this box here. I'm going to go back over to format shape, over to the bucket. This time I'm going to select no fill, but I'm going to go to the line and select solid line. Then I'm going to change the color to white and I'm going to change the width of that line to 10 and press enter. Then I'm going to move this box up to the side here and then just pull it down to about here. Then once again, copy and paste it. You can see they're both selected, so deselect, reselect this one. We're going to change the shape of this one. And we're just going to move it up a little bit. So it fits in between these two words here and deselect. Check that you're happy. Now we're just going to increase the size of the statue. Move that over. Don't forget you can use this rotation tool if you want to rotate any of your images that you've downloaded and of course any text as well. So to add a bit of extra interest, we're going to go to insert shapes, click on the drop down, select the rectangle, click and draw out a very narrow rectangle. Go to shape format. I'm going to take off the outline and put the shape fill as the dark blue. Then once again, I'm going to duplicate it. They're both selected, so duplicate again, and you will duplicate two. And then just select each of the lines and move them up or down, just to create a bit of an effect. This one, select, hold down your command or control key, select this one and this one, but don't select this one. Go to send backwards and click and just keep clicking until those lines go behind the V. There we go, and deselect. And what we've done is put most of the lines behind the V, but just left this one on top. You don't have to, it's just a little design technique that you might want to consider using in your own designs. If the lines are too thin or too thick, you can actually select them all. Again, holding down that command or control key. Then you can go up to shape format and you can go over to the height and width. So the width of these will actually be the length here because we've turned them around and the height here. You can use this increase arrow and click and you'll see that that's increased the width 
of these rectangles. Once you're happy with your design, you can either save this as a Word document or a PDF. So go to File, Save As. You select where you want to save your image or your poster. And in the file format here, we've got Word document or click on the drop down, scroll down and you've got PDF here. That will allow you to send it or to use it in a website. Alternatively, what you can do is take a screenshot of the entire poster and turn this into a JPEG. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great, have a great day.